All right, with that taken care of, it's going to be time to move on to the next number level in numerical order, Blast Block Skyway. This is a beat block-esque style level that we saw earlier in the game. I can't remember exactly which world. But now it's... Now it's in quadruple time. Fun, fun times ahead. So we will be... Thankful for Tanuki Leafs being placed in this level. And that Mario switch there is not important. It is of no importance. Oh shit. Okay, that is not good. Float on. Okay, that it kind of threw me off of my game there, but recovered nicely, I think. And in the end, when you make a nice recovery, it sure is a nice recovery. Here to you. The checkpoint here. Feeling lazy. Okay, that was way too close. Oh, we made it through. another leaf here. I'm actually going to leave the leaf there. Get rid of these enemies. Alright. Now there's a trick to doing this particular section of the level here. Just have to line yourself up with the middle here so that you're in between both sets of these. And just go. I was going to say set the controller down, but I thought better of it. So yeah, you don't have to do all of these crazy things. You just have to be able to figure out where to slide down. Slide to the left. Or I guess it isn't slide to the left, it's slide to the middle or whatever. It's an excuse to make bullshit references that make no sense in the first place. Starting to get up there, 330 green stars. As we open up that familiar looking level down there, we saw a level like that in World 9. Yes, as recently as World 9. But, uh, we'll do that level after this one here. Towering Sunshine Seaside. This is the level I was talking about that was kind of stress-inducing. Let's go with Toadstrats, because why the fuck not? Alright. We're gonna run over here. Grab ourselves one of these. Pick up all of those. Get this Fire Flower. Fire flower is important, believe it or not. Alright. And I need you to hit me. So I get rid of this cannon, I'll be able to uh, light up all of these here torches to get green star number one. Forget what's up here. Oh yeah, green star two. That's kind of important. Kind of important to know where your green stars are. Uh, 
Okay, this is going to be tricky. So tricky Dickens. We have to get rid of all of these here Fire Brothers. Which is why you heard me concentrating and hitting the attack button like a madman. And there's 10 extra seconds here should you need them. Especially to build up running speed. That was not as stress-inducing as it could have been. I was touting it to be this, like, oh my god, impossible level, but, you know, just go through it like that. Alright, believe it or not, there are still three levels left in this world. We're going to Honeycomb Skyway next. Which is like that other... Uh, shmup level that we saw in World 9. Except now it is more of the same. Although I do tend to enjoy these levels purely for the amount of mook murder that you can commit. And that's like literally the only reason. There we go. I just wanted to get rid of that guy. Also, hello. It's like, where are my boomerangs even going? Do I even know where my shots are going? This is a question that has been asked by scholars everywhere. And yet, it fails to produce an answer. We will never know, I guess. Alright, I'm going to forego the double cherry. Choosing instead to be dual stocked on uh, boomerang suits. Just in case. We need to wait before going in that pipe, as you can see. Unless you want to get killed. Jeez, that was way too close. Oh god. See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Oh jeez. Alright, we're going to... We're gonna play fire dodgeball here. We're playing dodgeball with fire. There we go. Now I'm not terribly concerned about keeping boomerang suits. I am, however, concerned for my safety here. Whoa, what the? Now we get to the end of the level where we have three giant piranha plants to take out before the warp box to the end of the level will make its appearance. Okay. Now I have to concentrate for this. Holy shit! I thought I had... Whoa, what the... I thought I had totally screwed that up. But it turns out I didn't. And all was well with the world. That's the Mario story. No, it isn't the same Paper Mario. What the fuck? Alright, two levels to go. We have this level here. Which be called Spiky Spike Bridge Sneak. That's the greatest name for a level ever. I'm going to keep with Princess Toadstool, better known as Peach, here. 
gimmick here is that there are these spotlights everywhere. And if you get caught by the spotlights, you get spotted by the spotlights. Uh, that is when the spikes will start appearing and try to pierce you, like so. So you just have to find a way to avoid that. And I managed to get a good cycle here. I'm the best at making cycles. Alright, now we gotta be careful with these here spikes, because these behave like the spikes that we saw on that uh, spiky spike level we saw in World 8. Because that is where the stems from, World 8. Get rid of you. Stupid fire brothers. Alright, now we've reached the checkpoint, but that of course means that we haven't seen the worst of it yet. So. Y'all have fun figuring out just what the hell. Almost. Wow. Wow. I don't even know how to describe that. Other than shitty. Well, I managed to get that green star without taking damage. So I guess that is worth something. Alright, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to wait here. And just play things slow. The slow and boring method. For as you well know, slow and steady does a thing. Fast and furious is erratic. I'm pretty sure that's how the saying goes, anyway. Pretty sure that is accurate. Let's get some speed going here. Not the fuck! Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how I got that gold flag. That looked like it was going to come up way short. And I don't know. Peach is all of a sudden Mr. Fantastic or some shit. But we come up to the last level of this world, which looks pretty intimidating. I am actually going to go grab a couple of cat suits. I will be right back. Alright, so now we go into the final level of this world, Boss Blitz. And as you might imagine from the title, of the thing, well, it's a boss rush. A boss rush with a time limit, and I can skip all of this crap. So I will do so. I'm going to skip all of this crap. These crazy cutscenes, I'm just gonna skip them. So, commentary will be even more minimalistic for this particular level. Than, uh, than it was for uh, the previous. Wow. Okay, this is starting off poorly. The reason I'm doing this uh, particular, oh shit, this particular one first is because it takes the most time. That is honestly the only reason. Oh shit. There we go. But yeah, that's the only reason I'm doing this first, because it takes the longest time. Alright. 
two hits on each. There is a way to do this, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show this off. I personally have never done it, but, uh, whoa. Well, there's a way to do the histocrat fights, and, uh, just do these crazy spin, the spinning jump, what the fuck, these crazy spinning jump strats. I was all like, what the fuck, because I'm like, where did that fireball come from? Wow! I cannot dive worth shit. Okay, this is starting to look no good. You're off to a poor start. And it's probably only going to get worse. Thankfully, I shouldn't get hit against uh, these next few bosses. Also, what the fuck? Really? Fucking really? You have to go and do that shit. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Okay, this... This is a disaster. In fact, a fucking disaster. It's freaking boulders. Alright, whatever the fuck you do, don't get hit by- Oh my god! I might as well just exit course right now. Because there is no way I am fucking surviving that, and I don't want to waste fucking time. Let's see if I can do this here. There we go. See, that's what I was trying to show off. That's what I said I was going to try and show off, was, uh... The fact that as either Luigi or I think Rosalina, you can do it with Rosalina too. You can do a spin jump. And you actually jump high enough to land on the bat on uh, the Histocrat's head. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it. There, I just took it out. Just took out that particular histocrat. Now I have one hit on the lady histocrat. And these fireballs will never and will never go back here. So you have no need to worry about any of that bullshit. Just have to time it right. There we go. That can only be done with uh, Luigi or Rosalina because they have high enough jumps in order to do that. So we're going to try this whole Brolder thing again. See how that goes. Oh shit. Mm. 
All right, that's two hits. I'm right, just going to keep going around in circles. We're going to wait for him to pop up more of his friends. Hey, friends. Bye, friends. That's the other green star of the thing here. Because if you might not be able to guess, the uh, box that we're unlocking with these key coins uh, has another boss in it. If you if you guessed that, then you win a prize of me hitting boom boom all over the place. That's your prize. Don't you feel like you? You're something special because you've earned that prize. Whack. Look at that, 666 for the score. That's obviously the greatest sign ever. Let's get rid of that shit. And for Boom Boom, we go straight to Pom Pom. Now, there is a way to tell which of these trails is the real Pom Pom. But it's only really visible if you're watching this, uh, if you're watching, or if you're playing, rather, in, uh, in HD. So, like, 720p or greater. Basically, like, the dust trails are different. Also, we have this really pathetically easy boss. And I am choosing to do it last because why not? Because I feel like it. And that boss is down. I'm just going to wait in the middle for the warp box to appear. And in this particular situation, we actually still have plenty of time to take care of this boss that looks kind of familiar. So motley boss That's his official name. There we go. Like, let's see if I can remember my my perfect strategy. Apparently not. There we go. Look at the clones again. Ouch. Fucking bullshit, man! Wow! How do you mess up there? All right, I had I had taken the headset off after that last after that last crazy thing, but uh, yeah, what what the hell even happened there? I like I messed up, I did everything so well, and then I messed up on the last step. But we made our comeback, and we have completely vanquished. World Fire Flower, better known as World Eleven. And, in the process, 
we now have every green star, every stamp, and every gold flag from the first 11 worlds of the game. Why did I say first 11? Because there is a 12th, and the game promises that this is the final world of the game. So let's let's take a look at that uh, that structure that I had pointed out. Oh look, it's a rocket thing, and it's gold this time. And as you may notice now, now that we have completed World 11, we now see a thing underneath the green stars indicating, like, little symbols and shit. And there's like five squares and such. The game is keeping track of which characters you have beat levels with. What is the significance of this? And what the hell is World 12 even like? Join me next time when we figure out the answers to these questions in the Super Mario 3D World finale. See you then.